Alright guys, it's John with AdSense Flippers. We are back and we are going to get WordPress set up and adjust all the settings and get our site live. So this is probably the second most important part of this whole process. So the first being maybe the keyword research. If you get the keyword research wrong, you know, you're probably not going to rank for the term that you're trying to rank for. Uh, secondly, if you get the keyword research right, but you set up your site incorrectly so it's not optimized very well, again, you know, you're probably not going to get the rankings that you're looking for. So this is kind of uh, monotonous. Uh, it's a little bit long and a little bit detailed, but it is important that you do this stuff correctly. That being said, if you're familiar with WordPress, none of this should be too difficult for you. So let's get going. All right, so this is just actually a site that I've set up on my local machine. Uh, none of this is actually live. Keep in mind, I have no idea if uh, the keywords we're using are significant or if the domains are available or anything like that. This is all local. Okay, so let's fill out our site title. Very good. Now, normally, you should probably change the username. Uh, admin is going to be the first thing that a bot or a hacker would use to try and get into your WordPress install. I'm going to leave it because this is on my local machine. It's not actually going to go live, but you know, change this to something else normally. Set up your password. Good. Set up your email. Cool. You definitely want your site to appear in search engines and then click install WordPress. Yeah, that's really it. So pretty straightforward. So you get to the screen, go ahead and click login. And you'll be ready to rock. Okay, first thing we're going to do is just dismiss this message. Very good. And we want to get some basic settings all squared away here. So go to your left and head down to settings. First thing we're going to do is we've already got a site title, we're going to adjust the tagline. And if you remember correctly, we already have this all written down in our primary content piece, which we put together earlier. So here's my tagline. Again, this is sort of meaningless, it doesn't actually say anything of consequence. Very good. And that all looks good. Go ahead, save changes. All right. Now we're going to adjust what are called the permalinks. So for SEO benefits, we want our actual URLs and links to have our keywords in them. Now that doesn't happen on its own. You actually have to set it up for to, so that it operates that way. If you don't do anything and you just continue on with your blog, you end up with strange URL strings like this, like question mark page you know 123 and stuff like that. We don't want that. So we're going to go down to permalinks down here custom structure and post name bam there we go go ahead and save changes to that okay now I want to make sure that everything is up to date so it looks like WordPress is up to date if it wasn't we would see a little message at the top here letting us know we needed to update WordPress however it looks like we have two updates that need to happen for some plugins over here so let's click on those now normally you'd have to go in and install all these plugins manually, but again, with our zip file that we've included in this guide, these all get uploaded as soon as you upload your zip file through FileZilla. But it looks like two updates are available up here. It's important that you make sure your WordPress installation and your plugins are all updated. A lot of those updates are there to fill in security holes to keep your site more secure. Click these, update, apply. Okay. Okay, now it's time to activate some of our plugins. First, we'll activate the all in one SEO pack. Now, right away, it'll give you this message letting you know that you need to configure the all in one SEO plugin. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. 
First we want to enable the plugin. For home title we want to use our main keyword. So we'll go back to our content here. Make sure we don't make any mistakes. Copy. Paste. We'll use capitals. Next we want a description. We'll go back to our content and we're going to use our SEO description here. Very good. And then home keywords, we're just going to use all of our keywords from our primary article. And our main keyword. Very good. And the rest of this looks pretty good. And we should be all set. And update options. All right, now we're going to head back to our plugins. We need to up or need to activate contact form seven. We want to keep a contact form on our sites to adhere to AdSense guidelines, um, just for general usability. And then also, if someone wants to contact us about potentially buying our domain or if there's some kind of conflict uh, with a, like a trademark right or something, we definitely want to be available for, you, for people to contact us. All right, let's go to the settings. Okay, this looks pretty good, but we need to end, enter a CAPTCHA down here at the bottom to make sure that no bots are sending us email. So let's go back to our plugin section. Real, really simple CAPTCHA. That's what we want to activate. Cool. Now we'll go back to the settings for Contact Form 7. All right, we'll include this part in the guide. However, what you want to do is you just want to copy this text, maybe save it in a notepad file. This adds the CAPTCHA setting to your actual form for Contact Form 7. Once you get that posted in there, we actually need to change these two tags to customize them. So we're going to generate tags, CAPTCHA. And then we're going to take this, copy it, and paste it in here. And then take the second one for the input field, copy it, paste it in there. That's all set. Go ahead and click Save. And then lastly, we're going to need this information to actually call the form within our page later on. So copy that, and we'll just stick that at the top of our content page here. There, that'll work. Okay, let's go back to our plugins. Now we're going to activate date exclusion. So this keeps the dates from appearing on our posts. We don't want our content to appear like it's really old or we don't want people to leave our site because they think because it hasn't been updated in a while. So this will remove the dates from our content. So go to settings, date exclusion. And we'll go ahead and remove dates from all posts, pages, categories, and from the front page. Save changes. All right, back to plugins. Let's update or activate DB Cache Reloaded. This will help speed up our sites a little bit. And we'll update the other plugins as well. That improves page load speed. Login Lockdown makes our, heart, our site harder to hack. Activate Security Scan and XML sitemap. Great. All right, let's go ahead and add some pages to our site. We'll go to Pages, Add New, and let's start with our About page. About Us. Go back to our content. 
copy our About Us section. And just go ahead and paste it in here. Oops. Okay, now order is what dictates what order the pages appear in in your menu. We actually are going to want our content to appear first, so we're going to have some other articles that we uh, upload a little bit later. So our about page is actually going to be number five on the list. All right. And we'll publish this. Now let's add our contact page. Contact us. Now we're just going to go in and take the short code for that form we created earlier with contact form 7. And we're just going to paste it into here. We'll make this number 6. Go ahead and publish. And we're going to need one more page. And this is our privacy policy. This is required by AdSense, so make sure you include this on all your sites. We'll make sure to give you a template that you can use so you don't have to write your own. And paste. And this is going to be number seven. Publish. Now go back through to this Pages tab here. Click that. And we want to go to Quick Edit and remove comments on all of these pages. All right, let's have a look at our site and see how it's coming along. Great, looks good. Okay, now that all our pages are set up, let's go ahead and add our first post. This is going to be our primary content. So go to Post, and then Add New. The title of our post we already have set. And then our actual content. Copy. Paste. And make sure you kind of look over your content to make sure that there aren't any formatting problems. This looks pretty good. Okay, for category, we're going to add a new category, and that's going to be our main keyword. And that's going to be our main keyword. Next, we're going to add some tags. That's going to be our main keyword as well as our secondary keywords. So we'll go back to our article and copy those. Make sure you separate each keyword with a comma. Cool. Those look good. Now this is where the all-in-one SEO pack comes in. We actually want to put our title in here, a description of our article, which will appear in search results, and we'll put our com and we'll put our keywords in here as well. So we'll grab our SEO description, paste it in, and our keywords.
All right, that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and save that post and publish it. All right, now we have our first post up. It's time to do a little bit of editing. What we're going to want to do is add some links out to pages with high PR. The second thing we're going to want to do is add some images to this post. That'll help our rankings. Let's start by doing some links. So pick a point within your article that makes some sort of logical sense. And we're going to create a link from this point out to another site. It doesn't matter that much what you look up, as long as you look up a site that is popular, well-known, and ranks well in Google. This will work. Travel Channel. Make sure that you have some sort of PR indicator installed in your browser. That will make it a lot easier to check these pages as you search through them. So we'll go back here and we'll create a link to the travel channel. Add link. Now we just need one more. Linking out to bigger sites makes your site appear a little bit more normal. So don't skip this step. Cool. Now you can see we have two things going out. Okay, the last thing we need to do at this stage is to get some images in our post. This will help our rankings and it will also help us to rank well within Google Images. And that gives us the opportunity to get more traffic and thus more clicks. So here's how we go ahead about getting images for our sites. Usually what we'll do is we'll just search in Google Images for images that make sense within our site. Now, you don't want to search for the exact keyword you're looking for, like palm tree stabilizer. That'd be a bad idea. So maybe what we'll do is search for something like... Now, we don't want to search for our keyword directly, so maybe what we'll do is just search for something similar. similar. How about just palm tree, for starters? Yeah. This will work. Go ahead and download that image. Cool. Now we'll go back into WordPress and we'll edit our post. Let's stick this image toward the top. Go to Insert Image. And we'll upload our image we just downloaded. And now we want to change the title. The title of our image is actually going to be our main keyword. So we'll call this Palm Tree Stabilizer. Go ahead and align it to the left. You can pick any one of those. It doesn't really matter. Insert into Post. All right, we'll update. And then check our site. Cool. Now we're actually going to do four different images, one for each of our keywords. So you'll go back to your document here with your primary content. We've already got an image called Palm Tree Stabilizer. We'll need to get an image called Palm Tree Stakes, Palm Tree Ropes, and Palm Tree Support. Support. One thing to keep in mind when you're searching for images is that you don't want to go with images that are owned by big companies, images with watermarks, or anything that's going to make anybody mad. So usually we try and stick with sort of no-name images from no-name locations and then just rename them to suit our keyword purposes. All right, that's pretty much it for the initial site setup. Next we're going to go over setting up CTR theme and ProSense and getting AdSense and Google Analytics integrated into your site.